the luxuriously trimmed, fully equipped Comet is from $187 to $198 less than the lowest priced Ford, Plymouth, and Chevrolet. And now the Comet buyer enjoys the additional luxury of bright metal window frames compared with painted frames on Chevy, Plymouth, and Ford. Plus, luxurious loop yarn carpeting compared with rubber mats on the other three. And pleated upholstery with contoured front seat back, much richer looking than the plain, less expensive, unpleated upholstery on Biscayne, Savoy, and Fairlane. In addition, the Comet buyer who selects fashion trim has a choice of cloth and vinyl or pleated all vinyl upholstery at the same price. All vinyl is not offered on the Biscayne, Savoy, or Fairlane. The Comet Fashion Trim Group also includes automatic courtesy lights, extra cost on Biscayne, not available on Savoy and Fairlane, plus rear seat arm rests and ashtrays. The Comet two-door sedan has an ashtray in each arm rest, while the four-door has a large ashtray in the back of the front seat. These two features are either extra cost or not available on the lowest priced Chevy, Plymouth, and Ford. So, whether the buyer selects a standard Comet, averaging about $262 less than the lowest priced regular size cars, or a fully equipped fashion trimmed Comet, averaging about $191 less, he gets a more luxurious, more fully appointed automobile for considerably less money than he would have to pay for a Chevrolet Biscayne, Plymouth Savoy, or Ford Fairlane. And most people will agree that Comet is a better looking automobile than the other three, with true fine car styling that features richer ornamentation, smarter, more distinctive lines, plus a greater measure of functional excellence. Compared with Chevrolet, the Comet front end not only presents a more finished appearance, but also has many functional advantages over the Chevrolet Biscayne design. For example, Comet's parking lights and turn signals are mounted in the extreme ends of the front bumper to define the full width of the car and afford visibility from the sides as well as the front. Chevrolet's turn signals tucked in above the headlamps do not provide full width definition and are not readily visible from the sides. Another functional advantage is found in Comet's deeper, huskier, one-piece front bumper, which completely protects the front end sheet metal. Chevrolet's three-piece bumper is much shallower, leaving a large expanse of sheet metal unprotected. In addition to gun sight front fender ornaments, Comet also provides front fender chevrons, styling accents that are missing on the Chevrolet Biscayne. And not only does the Biscayne lack such Comet features as full-length bright metal side moldings and bright metal roof drip moldings, it also fails to provide the smart, distinctive good looks of Comet's formal roof and rear pillar design with its bright metal applique and medallion. And instead of a convenient, centrally located rear fuel filler, as on Comet, Chevrolet has gone back to the old-fashioned trapdoor type, which disrupts the body lines and is not as convenient to refuel. At the rear, Comet's deeper, more massive bumper gives better body protection, and Comet's bright metal applique above the bumper is another styling accent that Chevrolet does not provide. In addition, Comet's gracefully contoured rear deck and canted rear fenders provide pleasing contrast to the Biscayne's flat deck, which ends abruptly with a sudden drop at the rear. Compared with the Plymouth, Note how Comet's clean, uncluttered front-end styling puts the emphasis on horizontal lines to give the car a lower, wider appearance. Contrast this harmonious design with the high look of the Plymouth front end, caused by its narrower, irregular-shaped grille and mishmash of vertical, horizontal, and diagonal lines. Comet's corner position parking and turn signal lights are functionally superior to Plymouth's, which are located under the headlights and are not visible from the side. In fact, they're not visible at all when snow, ice, or mud accumulates in the natural nesting place below the headlights. This, of course, cannot happen on a Comet. And as you can see, Comet provides much more exterior ornamentation than the stripped-down Savoy, plus a smarter, more exciting roof and rear pillar design, and a much more graceful, more unified appearance at the rear. Alongside the Ford Fairlane, the Comet is, again, a better-dressed automobile, providing such styling accents as gun sight front fender ornaments, front fender chevrons, 
full-length bright metal body side moldings and bright metal roof drip moldings. Nor does the Fairlane offer the distinctive styling of Comet's formal roof design with its applique and medallion. For that matter, the Ford buyer must step up to the much more expensive Galaxy in order to get a roof treatment comparable to Comet's. So, from the standpoint of basic lines, as well as exterior appointments, most people will agree that Comet presents a more striking, more exciting, more pleasing appearance than either the Chevrolet Biscayne, the Plymouth Savoy, or the Ford Fairlane.